Hey y'all, I just wanted to do a quick little talk about this idea of these sinusoidals and how they might show up kind of in different places. Uh, you've seen a video that I made already about sound. And I'm going to actually ask you to do a project, which is going to be an assessment, um, about you finding some data that is sinusoidal and then writing a rule for it, uh, graphing the data, writing a rule either in sine or cosine that matches the data or comes close to matching the data. Like if you look at these pictures, these are pictures of how high the sun was, the highest it got um, during the month in a certain spot over the year. And if you'll notice, those heights make this nice uh, sinusoidal. So that's kind of cool. There's an example of it. So height to the sun, you could do hours of daylight, that sort of thing. There's lots of interesting pieces of data. I found this here. Yeah, just go ahead and jot down that link <laughs> really quick. Um, notice like when you're walking, some people have done some work on the vertical displacement of the top of one's head. And notice the scale is zero to five centimeters. So as someone's walking, they're taking a step. And this looks pretty much like a sinusoidal. If we, if we had this data, we could, we could estimate it. And they actually even did left-right as you're walking, kind of how your head, uh, vertical and lateral displacements of the human gait, moving left and right. And if you're just kind of walking at a regular pace, this seems to happen as well. So there's another idea. Um, this is, I think, interesting. This is about uh, inward and outward rotations um, of, of the leg, um, how the pelvis moves. That looks pretty close. How the femur moves. Ooh, it might be like a modified one in tibia. So the femur and the tibia one probably aren't good candidates for you to try to write something in terms of cosine. Um, so here's another example. I got really interested in what percent of the moon you could see. So this is the day of the year. I got this uh, US Navy, I got this data from a moon, the fraction that's shown. So 0% uh, would be like a new moon, and then you're going through the phases to a full moon. And so this is a, just a graph of the day of the year for a certain year, and what percent, or what uh, fraction, I guess, because it's out of one, of the moon is visible on that day, and look at that beautiful cosine uh, that happens. So there's a lot of ideas about this project. So the requirements on the project, let me get to that. It says create a one to two page informational document or a video or a poster, you can present it however you want, which describes a periodic phenomenon and models it with a cosine function. So I want you to find some data for something, I gave you some ideas, there's more ideas on here. Um, Gather the data, and that, you know, you can just Google it and, like, download the data from somewhere. You don't have to go out and measure stuff unless you want to. Um, so the first part is, hey, here's the function, and you can read all this about what I want you to do. Make sure you, you tell me where you got your data from, what, what the source of your data was. Um, write a rule for it. This is why my function is legit. This is why it's an actual function that represents it. And again, it can be written, it can be a video, it can be a poster, you can display the data how you want. Uh, describe your source of data, how you used the function, how you came up with it, show your math. And just some ideas, there's lots, uh, hours of daylight, temperature change, Ferris wheel, height related to time, sound waves. I, you already saw a video about like uh, 440, that sort of thing. Uh, radio waves, electric current, fraction of the moon, visible. Um, Wheels going around. You could talk about like the height of something on a wheel. Uh, trampolines, swings, pendulums, lots of ideas. So, anyways, uh, you come up with what you want to what you want to do it on. Make sure you address all these bullet points. Turn it in by that Wednesday. You can always turn it in early. Run ideas by me. And uh, this is an assessment, so I need it due on that date, and it's going to count as a test score. And um, one thing I do want to say is. Don't, don't really count on retakes on this. Like, you have a lot of time to work on this, and um, I'm happy to help you with it. All right, so good luck today. Get some stuff done.